Tonight, a baby, two children, and their grandmother are dead after a teenage driver ran a stop sign and crashed right into their SUV. The teenager behind the wheel was just 15 years old and is in the hospital with injuries. Westview's Liv Johnson shows us how the family and the community are calling for change. This is where dozens of people came to set up a vigil for the victims. Dozens of people who don't even know the family, but they say they can feel the heartbreak and there's been too many innocent lives taken on this road. And in this case, almost an entire family. They were supposed to bury me, not the opposite way. They were supposed to bury me and now I have to bury all of them at once. Sabrina Hernandez's whole life changed on Sunday evening when her mother and three children, all under the age of 11, were hit and killed by an underage driver on Laurel Avenue in Poinciana. Her father, who was also in the car, is still in the hospital. She says she was waiting for them to come home when it happened. My son called me and said, Mommy, we're 15 minutes away. And I said, OK, I'll see you in a bit. I love you. And he said, I love you, too. And I'm sitting on the couch waiting. And after like 30 minutes and I'm still hearing sirens and stuff, I'm thinking to myself like they were supposed to be here. According to the Florida Highway Patrol, the crash happened just before 7 p.m. They say a Chevy sedan driven by a 15 year old failed to stop at a stop sign and hit the side of the family's SUV. The 15 year old driver and three 15 year old passengers were all taken to the hospital. The crash remains under investigation. Hernandez wants the driver to be held accountable. I'm 100 percent sure this person didn't wake up and say I'm going to kill an entire family. But you know what? When we make mistakes, we have to be accountable for it, forgiven or not. And I'm not going to stop until I get justice for my family. And members of the community want to see change at an intersection that they say has taken too many lives already. We always hearing a car accidents. There's always cars racing down here. Very dangerous crosswalk. Nobody even crosses the street. Kids cannot come out here and play because of the same reason. Every time you hear sirens, every time you hear cops, you're wondering if it's one of your family members. And this time it just so happens to actually be my family. I also spoke with the brother of the grandfather that's in the hospital, and he says he had two surgeries today and he's not quite woken up yet. He had just moved to Florida to retire and spend time with his grandchildren. The family has set up a GoFundMe to help with funeral expenses, and that can be found on our website, WESH.com. In Osceola County, I'm Liv Johnson, WESH 2 News.